Live Valve 1.5 unlocks endless possibilities for the rider. You can now take your favorite enduro or larger travel bike and have XC type climb performance from it. That paired with our new app with custom ride maps and different algorithms, the potential is endless. The really amazing thing about Live Valve is that every rider would benefit from having this on their bike. Everyone can stand to be a little bit faster in an uphill situation, and we all want the great open downhill performance. This gives you the best of both worlds on the fly. The Live Valve system is really gonna shine in the more challenging terrain. The more undulating, the more rocky, rooty, the more the system has a chance to turn on and off. And that's when you start to feel the advantages of it and feel your increased efficiency. When you first start riding Live Valve, I think the first thing you're gonna feel is the extra support the system's giving you. The bike has a great posture and really gives you a great platform for climbing. And you're really gonna appreciate it in the first G out when you go to pedal and there's instant support from the bike and you're able to put your power to the ground and make that steep climb. The system is made up of a controller and front and rear bump sensors. The controller knows incline, decline, and flat and the bump sensors are reading G-forces. As the bump sensors detect a hit, it tells the controller to open that system, and then the timers are set to control how long it's open to help manage your ride experience. The biggest difference on a live valve system compared to a traditional shock is that you're always in the right mode. We've all been riding down the trail where you have a little bit of bob and you wish it could be more efficient. Instead of stopping to reach down and switch the mode of your shock, the live valve system is gonna do it for you. You're already in the right position all the time. So you just get the best performance without needing to stop and adjust your shock. Using the new live valve app, a rider will be able to go in and download a whole new tune. And that tune could be created unique to your region or your bike. Or it could be something that another user created and you could experience that as well, creating a community of live valve for different ride experience. Your Live Valve controller has an easy bump threshold adjustment on it. There's five different positions from soft to firm. And you just reach down, press the button in your controller, and you'll increase or decrease the threshold for G-Force on the bike. Adjusting that threshold will create more platform for you. The new Live Valve update came from Fox continuing to work on the Live Valve system. We're partnered with our powered vehicle group and we keep learning about their applications and how we can better ours. The system is constantly evolving to be the best that it can be through improvements to the tunes of the actual shims and hard parts in the shocks to what the controller is telling the system to do. From the early live valve systems, we definitely have the mentality that you needed to have it lock out in its closed position. And not too many people lock out their six inch travel bikes. And it kind of created an unfamiliar feeling for some riders. And Anytime your suspension is completely locked or that rigid, you're not taking advantage of why you have suspension on your bike. So in the newer version of tuning, we really went and figured out how light can that platform be? Let's add, let's say, a lot of low speed support but not close the system off. So how much platform do we need to tune out your pedaling movements on the bike but still allow the bike to track over obstacles that you're riding over? And that thought process goes into the new tuning of this live valve system. That paired with improved um, pitch detection and our refined timers and all the other parameters the system works under, you're now riding a far superior system than before and having a great experience because of it. So now we know everything that went into developing a live valve system for you to ride. And the most important part is that you should just be able to ride your bike. This is all intended to be an invisible tech. You hop on the bike, you press the power button, and you go the best ride of your life every time. That's our goal.